Kara Cordia Ho Haramai. Welcome to today's five minute mega space. Might not even take us that long today. We've got a really quick activity for you today, and we're making a ping pong ball shooter. You don't need a ping pong ball either. So um, let's have a look at what you're going to need. So you need two cardboard tubes. One of them needs to be slightly less wide than the other so that one can fit inside. It doesn't matter about the length. Okay, we're going to use some aluminium foil and that we're going to use for decoration and I'm going to use that to make um, our ping pong ball. And we need a couple of rubber bands and because I'm going to just decorate with aluminium foil, I'm going to use some hot glue. Okay, let's take a closer look. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to make two holes in the top, well, four holes in actual fact, two holes in each of our cardboard tubes. Now, they need to be opposite one another. So one that side, flip it over, and the other one needs to be the other side. And the same for your other tube. As you can see, this one goes inside this one. Before we go any further, I'm just going to get some tubes that we have decorated prior to this, so it looks a little bit funkier. So we'll just whip them in. Okay, and the next thing we need to do, just before we um, pop these together, is we're going to put a circle the end, the size of the end of the smaller tube on the base of this one. So just away from the one with the hole in it. So just put some hot glue. and pop that circle on the end. And of course, give that a moment to dry. Now, because I have covered this one in aluminium foil, I just need to pop my holes back in there. Just see where they are and pop those through. With your rubber band, feed it through one of the holes on the side. Pull it like this, feed this end through the loop and pull it tight. Turn around to the other side, other rubber band. I've got the orange one, haven't we? So I'll feed that through. Make a loop that end and feed that one through there. All right, so. Now we'll just make sure we haven't, we'll just trim off some of the end here just to make sure that we've got a really, so it's really nice and tight around the bottom there. Because we don't want this tube to rub on the larger tube. It's really important. So that slides into there. That keeps on sliding nicely like that. Now, feed this rubber band through this hole here. You might need something to poke it through if you haven't got any nails. Just pull it through just so you can grab it. This one's come undone, so we'll do that again. Through. Pick it through there. Grab it and pull it through. Now we need to stop these two from moving. So we're just going to grab another rubber band and just make a tie on the end. So just make a just make a simple knot and pull that tight. Okay, so that will stop us losing these rubber bands. So you should, hopefully you should find now that you'll be able to pull this back and it will be able to release nice and clear. 
Okay, so the next thing is we need to make our missile to go in here. Now, I don't have a ping pong ball with me today, so I'm just going to make a ball out of aluminum foil. Works just as well, and you can make it the size that you want. So we can just make that into a ball, place it in there, and we can pull back and shoot. So here we are again, place the ball in the end, pull back as hard as you can, and the potential stored energy is in the rubber bands. Let it go, and here it is. Sometimes it's good to do that outside, and please make sure you don't aim it at anybody. So I hope you've enjoyed making our shooter today. Please join us again some other time. See you later. Kaki Dave.